Karan Pillay undertakes a letter-by-letter -letter analysis of Brahmi and concludes that it is primarily derived from Aramaic script with additional letters added from Greek and Phoenician scripts. There are 23 Brahmi letters cognate with Aramaic letters in both sound and form. This leaves no doubt that Brahmi is primarily derived from a form of Aramaic script. He further argues that the Indian scholars who created Brahmi sought letters outside of Aramaic to account for the much larger register of phonemes in Prakritar, and that these additional letters cognate in both sound and form to Greek and Phoenician letters are unlikely to be coincidence. He further identifies Aramaic variants in Brahmi related to the Nabataean script and argues for a seaward transfer of specific Western Semitic letters following the fall of the Persian Empire at the hands of Alexander the Great in 330 BC, when the uniformity of the Aramaic script could no longer be preserved by the empire's scribes. The Greek influence on India would have increased following Alexander's incursion and the subsequent matrimonial alliance between the Seleucid Empire and Chandragupta's Maurya Empire in 303 BC. This combined with Brahmi's early function as a script for Ashoka's edicts explains its divergence from standard Aramaic and Karosthi, as the letters were made more geometric in appearance to satisfy this function. To find out more, read the full article linked in the description box.